Sanchez is a pediatrician that, by the way, you can read at CNN.com, some of her work. And, and doctor, what does it mean, for example, a child that has asthma? So you're given a different medicine, but not all medicines work the same, especially with that condition? Exactly. So it's exactly as you described, Robin, that you don't show up to the pharmacy only to find out that your medication is no longer covered. If you have tried the new medication and it just doesn't work for your child, you can ask your pediatrician to write what is called a letter of medical necessity. I have had some success in writing those. And, and that goes to the insurance company? That goes to the insurance company. So that's your, your one other option. And as a pediatrician, Robin, I have to tell you, I'm not ready to let insurance companies off the hook here. You're not talking about the difference between a brand name and a generic here. You are talking about brand name and generic? No, so what I'm talking about is something called a formulary, right? And every insurance company has a list of preferred medications that they covered. And Thanks. So what they're telling me is that they can only do so much when the cost of drugs is going up, right? It comes back and says, that's not covered. Your pediatrician go, you know, it's very similar to that one. Try this one. And you can keep trying to make sure that you're finding something that hopefully it's covered and works. That's right, and we have a lot of experience trying to work with families. The important thing is to keep those lines of communications open. That's called medicine switching. Um, thank you so much, doctor, I appreciate it. Thank you so it. much for having Folks me. Folks can read more at CNN.com as well. So a guy in New York says that he found the 30-year-old Apple computer in his parents' attic.